What's up YouTube and welcome back to T-Winnie Adventures. We've all been there before, right? You know, you're shredding up some awesome gravel, killing it on some single track mountain bike trails. You hit a mud puddle, you do a creek crossing or two, you get caught up in the rain maybe. Get done riding and you and your fellow cyclists have a bright idea. We're gonna go to the brewery, we're gonna have some beers, and then we're gonna call it a day. You get home, you roll the bike into the garage, you go upstairs, you pet the dog, you go to bed, only to wake up Sunday morning at 7.30 a.m., mind you, to realize you didn't clean your bike and ultimately you didn't wipe down your chain and re-lube it. So now, it looks like this. Well, today, I wanna go over some of the steps that I take to strip a chain, to wax a chain, and what I do to maintain that chain. So let's get started. So you can see the chain, a little bit of grime on there, not too bad. And while I'm at it, I'm gonna take the uh, chain ring off of the single speed and get that over in the parts washer as well. All right, so this is the Torin Big Red. I believe I've got this off of Amazon, uh, three and a half gallon. I've kind of modified it a little bit with a scrub brush versus just having the um, nozzle there. It's got a pump in there, fault to bottom, that drains through. We're gonna be using some zip in there and uh, basically just scrub the chain, scrub the chain ring until it uh, comes somewhat clean. And then we'll go to the next step after that, which is gonna be the Sonic Cleaner. And uh, highly recommend that if you're using any of this stuff electric with water, that you plug this into uh, GFC so that you lessen your chances of being electrocuted. But uh, yeah, let's get this set up on the tripod and start scrubbing that chain and chain ring. Here, parts washer, I'm gonna go ahead and lay the chain, the quick links that go to the chain in here. Just gotta be careful. Um, I do typically try to keep a magnet handy um, for these little bitty pieces here, just so I can keep up with it a little bit better. Um, we'll go ahead and throw this in here. Go ahead and throw the chain ring in there. We'll open up this degreaser. Ooh, it smells like oranges. Just add a little bit in there. Not really gonna take much. Um, once again, elbow grease. We will be using this degreaser here in a second in the Sonic Cleaner, but I'll show you a little trick with that to keep your Sonic Cleaner clean. I know, sounds weird, right? There's a switch, you cut it on. The wand to brush basically has the fluid running through it. And you just basically start scrubbing. Then we'll move over to the chain ring. All right, so just before I start to prep this for the sonic cleaner, I just kind of want to show you, it's still, obviously, still going to have grease, oil residue, and stuff like that on there. So um, you can see in the, the white rag is not so white where I wipe this thing down a little bit. So not super, super, super clean, but kind of clean enough. And uh, if needed, if I had a chain that was a little bit more dirtier than this, which I'll go ahead and do this, I would take my trusty shaker, shaker container Take the chain, place it down in there. Add a little bit of degreaser. Add the lid back to it. And shake. And what I would typically do for a really, really dirty old you know, gunked up chain that I just didn't feel like replacing for whatever reason. I would do this and actually let this sit for a day or two, um, just to try to break down that grease. We'll let it sit and then we'll come back shortly. All right, chain's probably nice and clean now for what we're trying to do. So what we're gonna do next is I've got a bag it's got the chain ring, chain ring nuts, bolts in there. Throw this into there. It's 
best to do all this kind of like together. So I just kind of wasting degreaser and time and things like that. So if you're going to do chain, might as well do full cassette, chain rings, whatever you can squeeze in a bag and go from there. So try to get all the air out of that. I possibly can. And we're going to go over to the ultrasonic cleaner next. All right, so the ultrasonic cleaner is getting all warmed up. I don't know if you can see the steam coming off of that or not, but um, we're going to probably do one or two passes at 30 minutes a pass on the chain and chain ring. And uh, yeah, let's see if I can show you how clear currently See how clear the uh, degreaser is in there. Um, it's good to note that it ain't going to be that clear when this is all said and done. So I'm going to burp this bag a little bit. As you can see, it's developing air bubbles in there just to help make it sink to the bottom, which I guess the chain's going to do that anyway. And lid back on there. As you can see, that orange degreaser is now really a lucky brown, isn't it? So it's doing its job. I think the next step is to take this nasty stuff. And you can see, I mean, it's dark. It's not that orangey color that we saw before. It's kind of muddy, but um, I'm gonna take this over to the parts washer, scrub it all down again one more time and uh, rinse it in some water, get it all nice and clean. And then the next steps are gonna be the mineral spirit cycles where I go through three different cycles, try to knock as much as this off, clean as much as possible. And then one last bath in some denatured alcohol to just clean anything else off of there, fast drying. And from there, we dip it in wax. <laughs> And we'll do a quick rinse. Scrub down the chain. So, this bad boy, look at that, is pretty darn clean now, so. Let's just get it all rinsed off and let it hang to dry for a little while, drip dry. So as you can see, we've got uh, some mineral spirits. We've got three different levels here of clarity. There's some really dirty stuff, some medium kind of foggy stuff, and we've got really clean stuff. This is actually fresh just recently poured within the last 30 minutes. Uh, this is kind of some of the recycled stuff from the two back into it. Um, it does have a lot of grime and things like that at the bottom of it, but I'm not so worried about that because um, we're gonna throw a chain in there. We're gonna slosh it around. Um, the chain that we pulled the, um, stripped it and all that kind of good stuff that was used, we may let sit in this a prolonged period of time, maybe overnight, um, and then slowly just move it in between moves what i like to do is take a, a cloth and just kind of wipe it dry clean um, and then kind of gauge based off of that white cloth that i'm using how dirty it still is but uh typically this slosh it around this, this strips it all good this kind of starts to clean it all up and all that kind of good stuff and then this is nothing more than to verify that these other two have stripped it down pretty good so and we'll start with a brand spanking new shram chain just open it up and uh, we'll take this dip it down in the first one agitate it and go from there <clears throat> but take it you want to drop it down in the jar and start the process of agitation
Let it sit for a little while. We'll come back, we'll agitate it again. Chain. This was, uh, ooh, yeah. Round one of the mineral spirits. It's kind of recycled old mineral spirits. Still had a bunch of ground and stuff like that in there, but it's exactly what I wanted to use simply because there's no sense in waste in the old. Um, it's dirty, it's grimy, but oh man, you can just feel, once you start cleaning one of these things, you can just, you just feel all that grease and lube going away and how cool and shiny. I mean, this chain is, look, it's starting to get nice and shiny. Now it's stage two, clean it. Kind of the same thing, mason jar. Throw in the chain. You can kind of see how gray it's turned. All right, so pull this chain out. It is so sparkly, beautiful. I, I mean, I, I just, I can't, I'm sure the camera barely reveals how sparkly clean this looks all of a sudden. First pass. And this is a little dirty. So now, stage three, and we'll throw that chain in there. Give it a good slosh, and then we'll check the cleanliness of the next rag that we utilize to wipe it clean. All right, so the stage three cleaning has been done. Let's let this dry off a little bit. And let's do a quick clean chain test with a new fresh white rag. Fresh, clean rag. And We're gonna do a full pull on this. Uh, uh. Nothing. This chain is ready to be waxed. Denatured alcohol is next, then it'll be ready. So let's do that. This will actually get a lot of the oil residue from the mineral spirits, because it's petro petroleum based, off of there and hopefully make it where the wax has a beautiful bond with our 12 speed chain. So we did the denatured alcohol last night and uh, it's the next day. We're going to take the chain now and string it up to dip it down in the wax. So we let the uh, denatured alcohol kind of dry off of this um, overnight. You can get away with probably doing it in 30 minutes to an hour if you just let it sit long enough. But uh, it's figured time to let it just like fully completely dry off of there so 
I have some cover wire that I use to string this up. And uh, as you can see, kind of have it laid out in a fashion that will fit inside my crock pot that's dedicated to waxing chains. Do this for about 10, 15 minutes and uh, agitate it from time to time just to get that tungsten powder that the Silka Super Secret blend has. So yeah, so get it completely submerged in there. Let it uh, heat up a little bit and uh, allow that wax to fully uh, penetrate all the links and everything so that it is completely sealed up for the most part. We're going to one last turn and let it drain. All right, time to take it to the garage. All right, so I have the chain here. I have it pulled off of the, the copper wire that I use to hang it and dip it and let it dry. Um, it's dried up pretty good. This is gonna go on the single speed. You kind of see the front tire there. Um, but I like to do is just kind of, as best as I can, straighten the chain out. And then we're gonna take this hammer Basically, um, I'm using this larger hammer because it gets it off the ground. Probably not the best thing to use, honestly, because um, eventually if you continue to do this, you're just going to wear grooves into this, um, as you can see, or probably not see, but I've got grooves in this han uh, handle already. But this elevates it a little bit, um, gets it off the ground. I typically just go one full loop around. The stand on one end of it and essentially break that wax loose. Just work it around until it becomes flexible. This is gonna make it easier um, to just get it on the bike. There we have it. This chain is ready for some shredding. All right, so all the wax is broken up on that single speed chain. It's ready to go back on the bike. Um, I did take my other chain that I did, the new one, uh, the SRAM one, dropped it in a Ziploc bag, labeled up what it was, put the quick links in there as well, and uh, good to go. Um, current chain on that bike right behind me uh, is still good, still new. Um, so. This is just a spare to have uh, in between wax jobs and things like that. Um, maintenance, maintenance is really simple. You get mud, you get dirt, you get water, whatever, just wipe it down really quick. Wipe it down, you'll see that the dirt comes off really easy. Um, you don't get that black grimy buildup uh, that you see with um, traditional style loops. Um, but then after 100, 125 miles, you will want to touch it up with something. And because I'm using Silka's uh, super secret blend of chain wax, I also picked up their drip wax and uh, it uh, seems to work flawlessly. So uh, the, the combination of the two, um, I have yet to wear a chain completely out yet to see how many miles I do get out of it. Um, I've only got one chain that I have done with this that was brand new. I'll see how many miles we get out of it. Um, I don't necessarily foresee getting that many more miles or anything. I just think that the maintenance in between chains is going to be a little bit easier. You know, you just wipe it clean, add this every 125 miles, and like you set it and forget it. Um, so, hope you found this video helpful. Uh, if you did, hit the, the like button down there. Um, I'm going to throw up a video here. This is my gravel bike uh, build that I did. Um, y cycles and everything. It was really cool. Over here, I'll do a playlist of uh, cycling. And, uh, you know, go ahead and click my little logo up over here and subscribe to my channel if you don't mind. We'll catch you out there on the trail. Cheers.